hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to connect to your uh, ftp server using filezilla in this example i'm going to connect into my domain and uh, the website which i am having i have hosted it in my web server and i'll be showing how to connect it uh, through filezilla and upload a files upload files in my website and i'll show you real time i am uploading a test file in my website also here we go so first uh, go on to your uh, google chrome and uh, just search for filezilla filezilla is actually a, a free ftp client which can be used to, uh, to connect to your uh, remote ftp servers okay so there are plenty of uh, online versions also where you can just uh, uh, connect your ftp server without any uh, without any software i'll show you that also so first i am going to uh, download the filezilla the free ftp client just click on the just uh, search for filezilla you will get uh, the download link just open the download link so after going to download page you will get uh, this screen so you, you can download uh, the various versions of uh, uh, filezilla which is available for your linux and windows and other operating system so mine is uh, 64 bit windows i am uh, going to download this one first just click on the download filezilla client so it will uh, take some time it's not a big file at the same time uh, yeah it's only 8 mb so just wait for that to download so the filezilla uh, version 3.27 has been downloaded which is compatible for windows 64 bit and mine is windows 64 now i'm going to install this one just click on the exe file which we have uh, downloaded so it will ask for the user control uh, user's account control just click yes if it is asking for user control uh, user account control now uh, this is the installation i am going to uh, install it and uh, these are preliminary things uh, no need to read all that just click i agree and uh, here this one please uh, uh, take care because if you are uh, going clicking accept it will be going to install uh, these three unwanted i mean we we don't need it uh, we we only need the files alone. only i'm just uh, clicking decline here so this is the link which we are going to install just click next now wait for some time so as you can see uh, the setup has been com completed now i'm going to finish the installation process and uh, start the file zilla now so let's see how uh, the dashboard looks so this is the dashboard of the file zilla where you can see the host username and password uh, text fields we have to mm, enter the uh, text fields and i'll show you connecting to um, our remote server anyway uh, this is my uh, local uh, pc uh, data and this will be here the in the remote uh, side section it will be uh, the uh, remote uh, ftp server details okay now actually i have a website name uh, the codes.us so this is running based uh, uh, completely on php i'm going to upload a, a file in this uh, website i mean through ftp so for that i need to get the, the ftp uh, username and password from the cpanel all the domain uh, administrator i mean the cpanel uh, cpanel uh, account have will have uh, the ftp details uh, or if we can create it manually now let me log into the uh, cpanel section of my uh, this uh, website and i'll show you how uh, how i am creating the ftp and uh, let's see now i have just logged in uh, to my a uh, cpanel of my uh, website the code.us the codes.us so this is how it looks so for all uh, domain host will provide you the cpanel where you can configure your own ftp uh, username and password now uh, in this section yeah here it is uh, in my cpanel i have an option like ftp accounts almost all uh, the host will provide you the ftp account section so just click on the ftp accounts now this section uh, will show all the available ftp uh, username and ftp As you can see here uh, it's uh, showing at the rate kerlafax.com because uh, it's my primary domain okay now i'm going to create a, a new uh, login here so the login name i'm giving it as test uh, the codes to us no we don't need that just till this one 
and let me save this in my notepad and password I am uh, selecting it as uh, from the password generator itself so the password is this one okay now uh, the path is uh, public html slash the codes dot us which is the my uh, link of my uh, domain so i'm just uh, going to create the ftp account here just wait for some time to get created yes uh, the ftp account has been created as you can see here this one uh, test codes at the rate this is the your login and path my other details is here here there is an option configure FTP client so I'll be I'll show two way how to connect uh, uh, this URL I mean this this username and password in uh, the filezilla as you can see here you can uh, download the FTP configuration file directly from uh, our cPanel so I'm going to download that one FTP configuration file here it is so this is the ftp configuration file for our the the ftp username and password which we have created we can directly upload this in our filezilla i'll show you that so uh, let me note down uh, the ftp username ftp server and here that also coming back here here it is so username server and uh, port number is 21 okay now going back to my filezilla uh, so you can see here we can directly put host username and password directly here I'll try that one so this is the FTP username copy that coming back to host not host username is this one and uh, the server name is ftp.keralafx.com because it's my primary domain that's why it's coming here whatever it is uh, uh, it's your uh, if uh, in your website you can uh, it will be uh, directly your domain itself okay the password i am copy pasting it and port name i am giving it as 21 so let me try connecting it using cube connect so yeah it's prompting me to save password okay i'm uh, putting it uh, to save password now just wait for some time after clicking cube connect so it's uh, connected with the, our username and password but it's waiting for a welcome message from our server just wait for that yes so yeah just click ok for a trusted certificate and uh, you can see here the tls uh, connection has been ex established and uh, is retrieving the directly list directory list yes so these all uh, are all the files from my uh, website the course.us i am not showing all this one now let me upload a, uh, a file here and uh, i'll show you uh, after successful upload okay so now going back to my website uh, this is my website actually i'm going to upload a text html file here so i'm going to create a text text file so uh, i'm giving it as my name Gino. let me open it so i'm just writing my name there in uh, h1 tag so it will be header no a heading okay so i'm giving my test Gino and uh, i'm changing it as dot uh, html okay so it will be uh, a html file directly okay save it yes now this is an html file now if i open this it should show me uh, my name yes okay now i'm going to upload this one in here as a slash uh, what is the name of that file genu so it will be like uh, slash genu dot html now it will be page not found because i have not uploaded any file there now going back to my uh, filezilla let me open my uh, desktop here and i'm going to upload that one directly drag and drop is enough or if i or you can just double click it now i'm uploading that genu dot html html yes uh, the upload has been queued and uh, yes it's connecting again just wait for that yes uh, the file has been uploaded you can see here successful transfer it is here and uh, you can see the logs here it's uh, uploaded successfully and uh, it will be showing here also genu.html now going back to my website and if i'm refreshing this it should show me uh, that page yes uh, the 
page has been loaded you can see I have uh, written my name in their file and uh, it's partly loading from <laughs> my website now this is the way which you can directly put your username and password here and uh, actually we have downloaded our FTP configuration file which is uh, uh, directly can be uploaded in our filezilla for that just go to our file and in my uh, there is an option in my file import so it's, it's that it can be directly uh, the, the configuration file that can be directly uploaded here so it's in our downloads and here you can see the FTP username and password with all the configuration is there just double click on that so enter in the site manager entries and click ok now you can see here it has been imported and uh, in the site manager you can see FTP Kerala if I click that I we have to enter the password manually so the password for that is uh, this one which we have copied paste it and just click ok and uh, establish a new connection in a new tab you can uh, edit this whatever you want just uh, wait for some time same way which uh, we have connected uh, using our putting inputting the host username and password no uh, there is an error yes uh, i got the error because at the rate kerala fx has been come two times i had to remove uh, the at the rate kerala fx so going back to site manager here we can uh, remove these uh, two times coming uh, at the rate kerala fx.com and uh, click connect now and the password we have here copy just paste it again and just click ok now wait for some time let's see i hope uh, it will be ok now yes now it's connected so you can directly uh, download the ftp configuration from the cpanel and upload it here uh, but uh, make sure the username and password is correct you can check the username and password in the site manager here okay so that's all for now uh, how to connect uh, to how to download and install ft uh, filezilla ftp client and uh, how to uh, connect it to a website using ftp and uh, how to upload a file in a uh, website using ftp and yes uh, that's all for now in this video i hope you all uh, got it and if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching